Hello friends, this is lesson number 54 in the series of British English Literature. In the previous video, we started our discussion on the early plays of the Elizabethan age and we discussed the work Gorbadak written by Thomas Sackville and Thomas Norton. Now, without wasting any more time, we quickly get into the next play and that is Ralph Royster Doister. It is a comic play and could well be published around 1560s or 50s. And who has written this work? That is Nicholas Udall. Nicholas Udall. He was a schoolmaster in London. And who inspired him to write this work? That is, the names are Plautus and Terence, the two Roman writers. Their works actually inspired him to write this sort of a comedy. Now, one literary fact that we have, the title name, Ralph Royster Doister, actually it is the name of the character. And that character is based on another character that is Braggart Soldier. Actually, it is an archetype. It is a typical character. The soldier who boasts a lot about himself, but he has nothing as a quality within such typical characters we see even in the movies these days that they are boasting but they have no achievement in their career and now we begin with the plot that there is a rich widow in this play and the name is christian Custance. christian Custance, and she is engaged to gavin goodluck a merchant and we have a con man in this as a character that is Matthew Mary Greek. Matthew Mary Greek. He is an ill-some person and he is always encouraging whom? Ralph Royster Doister that she is interested in him. Means Matthew was always asking Ralph Royster to go and propose that widow Christian Custance as the lady loves him. Now Ralph Royster being fully pumped up he go to the lady and there he was in an incident brutally beaten by the maids of her house actually he had his friends with him as well to encourage him but they all were beaten severely by her maid and later we have the appearance of merchant gavin good luck and he appears and then there is prayer and then there is marriage of the two and end of the day we see Rolf Royster Doister as a foolish character. Now about this play just remember two important things that is it is written by Nicholas Udall and the play is Rolf Royster Doister it's a comedy because these two things are more important. Now one more question you may be asking that if the plot is not important then why I told you that plot even if there are two or three minutes spared on that. Actually, what I see that if I simply had told you that there is a play, Ralph Royster Doister, and written by Nicholas Udall, then you might have easily forgotten the name. But now, as you know somewhat about the story as well, now you know few more things about this play, then it will stick in your mind through the story. So, the story may not be that important, but the most important thing is the name of the play and the writer. Anyway, moving on, the next play we have, and that is the last for this lesson, that is the another comedy, and its uh, name is Grammar Gurton's Needle. And the author for this play is not known, and uh, some sources identify that uh, the author of this work is written as Mr. S, and sometimes they correlate the work to William Stevenson, and there is a one more poem by this writer, that is back and side go bear go bear now what is the plot of this work here we also have a widow and the old woman her name is grammar and she is living in a village and she loses her needle needle you understand she was doing some work with the cloth she was doing some sort of a stitching and she forgot where she placed the needle Actually, she was mending the pants of her servant, Mr. Hodge. And she loved her needle so much that she was desperate to find that needle. 
Actually, what happened that she was mending the pants and then she saw that her cat, it was in the milk pan. And she quickly threw the pant and she managed the things related to the milk and cat. The name of the cat is Gib, G-I-B. And when she come back, after managing the kitchen work, when she come back, she find that there is no needle. And actually all these things we get to know in the beginning. As the play opens, we see that there is grammar and there are the two servants, Tib, her maid, and Hodge, male servant. And they were all sad and thinking about the needle. That's how the play started. And whatever I have told you in the beginning, that all was narrated on the stage. Then there appears a man. The name is Deacon. And he is an eccentric person. And he was released from a hospital. And allegorically, we see him as an evil character. Now, Deacon said that he will call some evil forces. Means he will do some magic sort of things. He did all his stupid actions and then gave the conclusion that the problem lies with cat, rat or the chat. Now cat, rat, we understand what is the chat. The chat means the lady dame chat who is living outside the street. He says that in his imagination he saw dame chat stealing the needle. And after that he departs. And on the other hand what he did that to the other side to that old lady Dame Chat Mr. Deacon he went there and told her that uh, the lady Grammar she thinks that Dame Chat has stolen her cock and now you see that he is actually creating a chaos he is creating a quarrel between them so the fight started and there was a complete chaos and later they all realized that it was Deacon that who did this to create a mess between them. Then in the lighter mode, uh, Deacon is called and he is given a punishment. And the punishment was that he had to slap Hodge on his ass. And as he did that, the needle pinches in his hand. And the resolution is provided, the needle is found. Actually, it was in the hot span and she was mending. And later, without telling her, Hodge wore that pant. So that's all about Grammar Gurton's needle. So in this lesson, we have discussed the two comedies. The first is Ralph Royster Doyster, written by Nicholas Udall. And the second is Grammar Gurton's needle, about which the writer, we don't know exactly, but we have some idea that Mr. William Stevenson could be the one as Mr. S is written somewhere. Anyway, there were two questions uh, from these plays. The first that uh, the three plays that we have discussed, Gorbaduck, Ralph Royster Doyster and the Grammar Gurton's Needle. About them, it was asking that what is their genres. Actually, it was uh, with the options like they are all tragedies or they are all comedies or one of them is comedy or two of them are tragedies so in that way the options were and the correct option is that the Gorbaduck is a tragedy and Ralph Royster Doyster and Grammar Gurton's Needle both are comedies and the next question ask about the inspiration from where these plays were inspired so we have Ralph Royster Doyster, Gorbaduck and the Grammar Gurton's Needle. They all are inspired from the Greek and Latin plays. So that's all for this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching these videos and staying connected with us. And have a great day.